Moin Moin. This is Wolfgang from Flensburg in Germany. Uh, some of you guys might uh, recognize that uh, I uh, made a video yesterday about uh, my visit in the Naval Academy here in Flensburg, the officer school. And uh, they had open house, so every year I took the chance and go there because, it, because it's always interesting to look. And um, this video I made was complete in German. And maybe some of you guys are interested to uh, find out uh, what is this guy talking about. So uh, I'll try to show you uh, this uh, video in English. But uh, first, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, school. The school is a very interesting building because it looks like an old castle. When they build it, this school from 1906 until 1910, they uh, tried to copy a little bit the old marine, uh, marine castle in East Prussia. And in October 1910, the school was finished, the building, and in November, the emperor, Willem II himself, he came to Flensburg and officially opened the school. And then there was the uh, first military education for young uh, cadets, young people, uh, young men who wanted to become a naval officer and serve in the Navy. They made their first three months uh, school there, all this military stuff and all this. And after they went to any uh, father schools, uh, any further schools to, to learn their special jobs, whatever they had to, to know. And um, then in, uh, it stopped uh, in 1914 during the First World War. The training and the education was uh, aboard the ships and wherever this officer, this young cadets, uh, where the ensigns were stationed. Yeah, ensign, I think that's the right word. And uh, then in 1920, the Navy took over again. And uh, from this time on until uh, the end of the Second World War, every uh, German uh, sea cadet, like we say, ensign, I think like you say, uh, had their first uh, military and naval education at this school. And uh, at the end of uh, the world war, the last months, the German uh, Reich government was located here in uh, Flensburg uh, at the Naval School. Uh, the last uh, Reich Chancellor was Admiral Dönitz. Uh, he was arrested here by the British uh, Army here in Flensburg. And uh, the British Army took over the school. And I think they stayed there until 1950. And then the school became a uh, hospital. And part of the school was uh, part of the University for Teachers. And uh, in 1956, when the new German Navy and the Bundeswehr was founded, the Navy took over. And since this time, um, the school is uh, a naval academy again. Every German naval officer had to pass uh, this school for his first uh, naval and military education. After they uh, go to uh, go aboard the Goich Fock, it's a training vessel and uh, sailing ship and big school ship where uh, they learn uh, the first time they, they be aboard a ship and they really learn the old fashioned uh, seamanship. And after it, they go to uh, special schools where they learn all the other stuff uh, they have to know. But the building itself is so beautiful, this castle. It is uh, during the last 30 years, it's complete renovated and uh, looks like brand new, but still looks old. And uh, there's a 60 meter, a little bit more than 60 meter high tower. 
And in 1989, they found out this tower is so rotten it has to be teared down. So they teared it down to the ground. And after the original plans, they just rebuilt it. It looks like it looked in 1910 uh, again. Uh, yeah, and I had a great afternoon there. It was very interesting. I made this video. And, and maybe uh, you enjoy the video and have fun. And, uh, oh, I got a throat. And by the way, I smoke in my old Daniel Red Bark uh, with some blockade runner. There's a ship on. I think that fits good to my video about the Naval School. Well, uh, that's it. I start the video now. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye and moin from Flensburg. There is a main building in the rear, the steps down to the harbor, and uh, there you have the view over the harbor. I don't know who this guy is. And uh, looking up to the castle. And I'm going to ask this guy if he is uh, taking us for a little ride with a boat. And he says, yeah. So, we're underway now, leaving this little harbor. Uh, there are many uh, small sailboats, which uh, the cadets use for their first sailing training. There's the boat's house. And now we're going out to the fjord, we say Ferde, and uh, I really enjoy the fine weather. And there you're going to see a real beautiful small sailing vessel. And it got a lot of uh, speed, it really goes fast toward Flensburg. And uh, now we're passing by the old naval shipyard which is since uh, I don't know 15 years or so uh, not in military use anymore it's now civilian and uh, they built this funny houses on the pier and at the end of the pier uh, the LC Flensburg guy built a very huge villa and now we're going back to the little harbor and I will continue our walk around. Here are the steps. I think every sailor who uh, served or did his duty here in the school or, or uh, he cursed the steps because uh, while they in training here uh, they had have to run up and down the steps from the castle down to the harbor on back up again and maybe when they have sports in the morning or something uh, this step is always uh, part of the training I don't know how many young men curse this step after there were some accidents on the sailing vessel Goich Fock uh, sailors, not many, but one one or two sailors fell out of the mast and died. Uh, they built a mast here, exact like uh, on the Goich Fock, only it's only 25 meters high. The one on the Goich Fock are 40 meters. And the cadets here, they have about uh, 36 hours training before they are allowed to uh, go on the ship and enter the mast. And right here you see uh, guys from the Goich Fock. Uh, they already serve on the Fock. But uh, once in a while they come here to the school and uh, to uh, do some extra training under supervising of some specialists. And uh, I think that's a good idea, have a training master, uh, not aboard the ship, have it here ashore. The only thing, it's a dry training. It doesn't move. It is not wet. The weather is not like in the North Atlantic or wherever they are sailing. 
but uh, I think it's still a good thing and an interesting thing. Here you see the bow anchor of the destroyer, the guided missile destroyer Rommel. I did my service 1970 in the States. We are reaching now the main entrance of the main building and it's complete renovated but uh, uh, I was told it looks like it is since uh, the building since more than 100 years with uh, old galleons of uh, sailing vessels from 1700, 60, 70 some cannons standing there and you see a lot of models of uh, old uh, war ships and now we're coming to the auditorium uh, awesome room with a fantastic wooden ceiling uh, you see the painting of uh, this eagle there, it's original since uh, 1910 and uh, the pictures on the wall show scenes of uh, great sea battles and uh, well this is one of the main rooms in, in the school look at the ceiling. Now we're coming to the officers club, um, a place like every uh, military uh, in the world has this comfortable officers club where the teachers of the school and the officers have their recreation room or dining room and uh, I was glad to be able to see it. Also, the beautiful wooden ceiling, and that's a view out of the window from the officers' club. And we're coming now to the uh, mess or dining room from, for the students and the cadets. It has beautiful paintings on the wall. Also, the view out to the fjord, to the fjord, and it's also a fantastic room. I've seen a lot of uh, uglier mess rooms in the, my time in the Navy. This hall, they had a lot of uh, ship models uh, from the actual German Navy ships. And there's a picture of the German Emperor, Wilhelm II. And behind these doors, the uh, commanding officer has his office. He is an admiral. And the bell is one of the first bells from the Naval School's ship uh, Goyt Fock. This bell was from 1958, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, this sign says behind this door the Admiral is working in his office. And here are the steps up to the tower. It's more than 60 meters. And uh, well, I went upstairs. And uh, on every floor you reach, there are, is an exhibition of uh, naval tools like uh, compass and, and all this stuff uh, a sailor on the ship needs. Some are modern type, some are pretty old. And... Uh, it's just the exhibition, I think, also for the students. Uh, and there's a compass today. They have all electronic compass aboard, but this is a magnetic one. And uh, But it still works, I know. And uh, 
the ships still have magnetic compass also aboard. So goes up again. There's an old radio and an antenna. And uh, there are a lot of more steps to go. And, uh, here's a piece of the old wall from the tower before it was teared down. They just put it there so people can see how it looked before. But it still looked the same, just brand new. And this sign says uh, uh, only 20 people in one floor in the tower. And this was a top of the tower from the old one. So I got to go up and, and up and up. I hate steps. And this is a view out of the window in more than 60 meters high. And uh, you see Flensburg and the Marv. This is part of the Naval School. And there's a, the uh, mast where the sailors are training. And the steps down to the harbor. And this is the building where all the car titles and also the tickets from all over Germany are stored. Every German knows this building. After the step, I needed a little rest. And now we're coming to the house where the commanding officers used to live. But since a few years, it's a museum of the uh, Naval History Museum, and it's very interesting. Right there is a bell of the first uh, destroyer the new German Navy had at uh, 1956. And if we go around the corner, there is a bell and a model of the destroyer Rommel. I showed you the bow uh, anchor. And this ship is, doesn't exist anymore, it would be too old, but in 1970, right after it was built, I was in America and uh, was, was with the first crew and we sailed all the East Coast down and in Gatmo, Cuba and uh, Caribbean. I had a good time on this ship, I love this ship and uh, I'm always glad to see the model. Reminds me of when I was young. And this is a bow part of the old Emperor Yacht Hohenzollern. Well, um, there are all the other things. Something they found in a sunken submarine. Don't ask me uh, about all. Oh, this flag was a flag from a Russian ship, uh, a German ship captured in the First World War. And I don't have to explain this flag. And here is a model of a Jaguar type uh, fast patrol boat uh, as a sheep boatswain's mate. I served the last time I was in the Navy uh, before I went out. Well, and uh, all the other things, I cannot mention all the things because there are so many and uh, uh, I don't know the name of the ships uh, they show there and all the pictures of the officers and soldiers. And, but it's very interesting. This museum is uh, just open for public once a week on a Tuesday afternoon. All the other time uh, the museum is used for uh, school for the uh, cadets that they learn about uh, the history of the German Navy. But I think it was a very fine building, uh, if, if you think it is furnished uh, for, for a commanding officer to live there with a the family. Right now the, the Admiral live outside of, of the compound.
Well, this is an Admiral Flex. It shows that the boss is on board. I don't know what these two sculptures uh, mean. Uh, well, I think they are standing there since 50 years or longer. Here you see the uh, old galleon from the Goit Fock. She has a new now. Uh, the old one is standing here in the garden. Well, look around once more and then I leave and uh, going home. There's a water tower outside and uh, this old navy water tower. A uh, couple bought this tower and made an apartment out of this. Must be a beautiful living in this old big building. That's it. I say bye. Moin moin from Flensburg.